We got all the meat for some sour cream. I'm six in the first with a one seven. are here today at the beautiful Whistler because it's someone's birthday so I'm turning 29 tomorrow the big 29 my last year for the 20s <laughs> and we decided to come to Whistler to enjoy the activities and relax a little bit for transportation we went a little bit unconventional we didn't drive here today normally you would drive from Vancouver to Whistler about two hours so we decided to take the bus the transit because it was really cheap it was only $35 for a round trip per person and yeah, it was a fun, relaxing ride. If you guys are interested in how we did the transit and took the bus here today, we'll link the website in the description down below. It's currently lunchtime right now and we're looking for some place to eat. And after that, we're going to check in at our hotel and give you guys a tour. So we've always wanted to try this restaurant in the middle of the Whistler Village. It's called El Furniture Warehouse and they always serve food for $5.95 all day, every day. And it's always packed, so let's see if it's full today. I hope we can get the table. Decisions in life. We have maple bacon potato skin. We have quesadillas, beef quesadillas with sour cream and calamari. Spicy calamari. And I think this is the great beef spaghetti. Spaghetti for the birthday boy. <laughs> Long life. Red quesadillas. We got all the meat for some sour cream. Mm. There's beef and melted cheese and some caramelized onion. Really good. This one is the spicy calamari. You can definitely taste the spiciness. I like the sauce. And they put in some herbs in there. Some cucumber just to add a little bit of a flavor and texture. Let's try the maple bacon potato skin. The French mojos, mojo fries. So the toppings, there's bacon bits, green onions, sour cream, and ketchup. This one is the braised beef spaghetti. You can see the beef in there. It's all covered with sauce. It's got some um, some cheese on top and some herbs. Taste test. That's some good marinara sauce. It's very good. Are you full? I'm so full! <laughs> what did we do? <laughs> I think that spaghetti was all too heavy for me. Right now, we're gonna be heading to our hotel. When is our check-in? Check-in time? At 4 p.m. Yeah, so I think we're two hours early. So let's try our luck. <laughs> Hopefully we can check in. So we are gonna be staying in the Pangea Pod Hotel, which is the first here in Canada of that type. You know how those pod hotels are, right? It's like you only get a bed and you get to share the room with, I guess, four other people? We it only have a curtain as a door. <laughs> the pod hotels are very popular in Tokyo. We've always wanted to try it, but we've never been to Tokyo yet. So yeah. it's a good thing that we have it here in Canada now. Yeah, we've never had a chance. I think it's gonna be an interesting experience. Can't wait! middle of Whistler Village. So hopefully we can check in. First the door here. Look, at it. Oh. <laughs> it's actually very nice. 
we're here guys the check-in is very efficient it's self check-in so you just have to type and enter all your details so what they do is they give you this bracelet which is your pass for the pod and when it's time for the check-in which is around 4 p.m the pod gets automatically activated and you can get in it's nice because they give you access to these lockers which you could use if ever you wanted to go snowboarding or skiing you can leave your equipment here right now we are going to be checking out the luge world cup how awesome is that right in the time that we are here mm -hmm. there's actually a world cup happening we're not too familiar with luge but we've seen it on the tv uh, on the tv <laughs> on winter olympics but we get to see it in person today so right now the women's heat is happening but we'll find out if when we get there we we can still see the women's division and after that is the men's division. We're gonna have to climb to the mountain so we're gonna take you guys up to the gondola. So the Excalibur gondola is just right at the end of Whistler village here and it's right beside the gondola for the Peaks Peak. It's also worth mentioning that the Excalibur gondola going to the luge is free. No tickets required. Let's go! We should try to close this window. It's getting too chilly in here. If you guys haven't seen our first video when we did peak to peak black comb gondola, we'll link it down in the description down below. So the guy told us to take off at the first stop or else this gondola will bring us at the top of the mountain and you have to ski going down and we don't like that. <laughs> We're not prepared for that. <laughs> I think it's all ice right now. It's not even like powder snow. So where we're going is right up there, right beside the Coca-Cola 2 park. This way to the loot race. All right, I don't know where this is going, but we gotta follow it so we can go to the loot race. Seems like a trail. We didn't mention that we need to hike. So we found the Coca-Cola 2 park, which we're gonna go tomorrow. We still haven't found the loot race. I'm so tired. <laughs> we got our tickets. So you need tickets to get in and each ticket is worth $10. Here is the map of the track. The athletes would be coming from that point over there, sliding all the way down and ending up at that curve. So we're currently at the tracks, but we don't know where it starts. So it seems to go around this way, right? So that massive wall right there are the actual tracks. So we are currently just waiting for the race to start. I think there's still some women's heats that still are going. We're just seated here at the benches right now, but I think we're gonna go and take a look a little bit closer later. Unfortunately, we can't go into the starting point of the race. It's all covered, it's all enclosed, but I think we can take a look at the, the end point. That's pretty exciting. It's really nice that you can go up close to the track. <laughs> I don't know if that's safe. Also, there are gonna be fireworks works later on I think yeah. around 7 p.m. I think it's a full day event. I also heard there's gonna be photo booths and food trucks. Maybe worth the $10. Yeah. <laughs> Getting to the end point is such a hike. Look how high that is. <sighs> it's so tiring. <laughs> we are on TV. When you become the first place, they put you on a small booth like that. Just to record your reactions for the next few runners. Protect the throne. Hot <laughs> <laughs> chocolate. So we just decided not to finish the event because it's getting a little chilly up here in the mountains. The sun is setting down, it's getting darker. <laughs> Temperatures dropping. So our plan right now is try to go back to the hotel, give you guys a little tour of the place. We haven't really seen our pod. Yeah. We, we checked in and left our luggage or our bags with the concierge. After that, we're going to grab a bite for dinner. Oh, 
Okay, so let's stop a minute and discuss the pods. We weren't able to talk a lot in there because we were trying to respect the privacy of people and you weren't supposed to like make, sound. make any noise at all because you know you're sharing the room with a bunch of other pods there's a hallway full of different rooms it's alphabetical order and each room has multiple pods in it in order to get in your room you have to swipe your wristband and it will automatically unlock the door for you yeah. we got assigned to an upper pod which is quite interesting because I had to like take off my shoes and use like the, the leather straps just to pull myself up and use the steps just to get in, just yeah. to get up there. <laughs> the tiny metal steps. <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting experience for us because we've never stayed in a pod before. So while else? I was booking this pod, you have an option if you want side entry or front entry. So the one we had is the side entry. There's an upper staircase that you could go to the second floor, which are for the superior rooms. Yeah, but the, the pod itself is pretty nice. I think it's pretty clean. As soon as we entered, the lights is already on, our towels, linens, it's already, it's prepared. already prepared and stuff. Yeah, if you forget anything like ear pods or if you want extra duvet, they can give it to you. So it's quite spacious, even if it's just, just a pod, you know? <laughs> yeah. Another thing to note is they have a security cubby hole, but you need to bring your own padlock. So in our room, there are three showers and three toilets. What's mm. interesting, it's all separate. I think it's just so other people could use like the shower. If people wanted to use the toilet, they can. It's also interesting that the sinks, the actual sinks are outside of the washrooms. So we have literally a sink right in front of our pod. And yeah, I think it's just more of like trying to get the space efficiency. The Pangea Pod Hotel also has a restaurant in it. They would give you two complimentary welcome drinks, which you could use in the bar or the restaurant. We end up going with the old spaghetti factory for our dinner tonight. The old spaghetti factory has an all-included menu by one of their entrees it comes with like a bunch of soups uh, you can pick salads even ice creams for desserts so if you wanted tea or coffee they have it included too on the on the price i like that our table is like an old sewing machine what do you need <laughs> I got the lasagna. How about you? What did you get? I have a chicken alfredo ravioli. It's very small, but I think it's filling. I can give you some. Mine is full. <laughs> Looks so creamy. I think that's bacon bits on top with some herbs. And I guess that's the chicken. Some of the chicken are outside. Let's try it out. good chicken alfredo with bacon and it's really creamy mm. I love the mozzarella there's beef inside the mozzarella tops it all I already eat half of it but it's still hot dessert I got vanilla ice cream. I got spumoni. I don't actually know what spumoni is. <laughs> it looks like a bunch of different flavors. But let's check it out. Mm. It's like bubble gum. <laughs> I like yours. Can we change? So it turns out spumoni is just a combination of chocolate, bubble gum, and vanilla. That's it for today guys. We're gonna start letting you guys go. One of the main highlights of today is the Luge World Cup. That was pretty amazing. I believe it was televised as well. I think we were there. <laughs> oh, we were at TV? Yeah. <laughs> Another highlight was looking around the, the pod hotel, the Pangea pod hotel. 
which we are gonna be sleeping tonight. It's a uh, different kind of experience. <laughs> yeah. You guys should stay tuned on the next vlog because we're gonna start off strong. In the beginning of the day, we're gonna be going up to the mountain again to the Coca-Cola 2 Park. Should be pretty exciting, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for that. Yeah, and in the afternoon, we have a massage appointment but we're gonna be doing a bath experience with Scandinav Spa. We've never been. We heard really good things about it. And it's your birthday! Oh yeah! <laughs> Turning older again tomorrow. What a way to celebrate by being here in beautiful Whistler and just enjoying nature and enjoying the Christmas season. If you like this kind of video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for the upcoming vlogs, let us know in the comment section down below. Until then, see you on our next vlog. And thanks for watching. Bye! Bye.